Hi, in this video we're going to talk about putting things into practice with your internet marketing and there's always things to keep on top of and always more things to learn. But you need to keep a balance between learning and doing. It's really, really easy to go back to school mode where for most things and most lessons we were sitting at a desk in quote marks learning. And that's okay, but we need to put things into practice as well. You could be the wisest man or woman on the planet, but if you keep the information to yourself, that's no good. And okay, there might be a few exceptions, the secret sauce that makes up the ingredients for a best-selling product, but in that case, it's only the knowledge of the recipe that's kept secret. The product itself is out there all over the place and it's being sold, so the same kind of thing applies to what we do. You need to apply the same kind of get-it-out-there logic to your internet marketing. For me, that happens in quite a few different ways. I do blog posts, usually quite long ones, that go into quite a degree of depth. They'll mainly be about one particular subject, but they might ramble a bit. They might, they do ramble a bit sometimes. They probably digress, but most of the time they'll come back to the the main point. And they could be a thousand words, it could be two or three or four thousand words. It depends. But typically, I'll do my best to go into quite a lot of depth because that works for me. Videos, a bit like this one, varying lengths depending on how long the subject needs. There's no set length for a video. It can be, if you look at YouTube, anything from a few seconds up to an hour or more, as long as your channel's approved and accepted. Otherwise, you've probably got limit to think it's 12 or 15 minutes or something like that. But to be honest, to get your point across, 12, that kind of thing, it's fine. It works a treat and you can do it. But make your videos as short or as long as you need. I typically go a bit like blog posts. I'd go towards the longer side of things because it gives search engines and YouTube more teeth, more room to get the teeth into and more, more things for people to digest. Don't worry about the people that say, oh, you only need to do, you should do a maximum of two or three minute videos. That's rubbish. Look at the ones that come up in the results and you'll often find they're a lot longer than that. Document shares. I'll do those. Usually I'll just do slides for a video like this one. Then I'll upload it to something like SlideShare and that translates it from the document, don't even need to convert it to a PDF, it just says, okay, I recognize that format or lots of other different formats, I'm going to turn it into a slideshow, a document share. Uh, forums, Facebook groups, that kind of thing, where you're interacting with other people, that, I don't use lots, but I do do. Um, I use a forum, there's one private one I'm in that keeps me on track, to put up my daily accountability, and most days I do that. Facebook groups sometimes contribute to, some people I know make most of their money through Facebook, others do it through forums, others do it lots of different ways. Emails, I tend to answer my own emails, I know you could argue that I should outsource that, use a VA to get rid of the virtual assistant, to get rid of the sort of stuff, but I don't, and I know a lot of other marketers don't either. Um, that tends to be one to one, so I don't spend too much time on that because I'd rather more people, unless they're paying me for an individual service, obviously, and that's different, but I'd rather more people got to know what the answers were. But quite often I'll actually use emails to put things into practice to spur on blog posts, videos, document shares, whatever. Then my own products, and depending on what, whether you're an affiliate marketer or a regular marketer or whatever, you may or may not do that, but I, I do as part of my business model. And again, works for me. It's Effectively, it's longer videos than this. It goes into more depth, more detail, and yeah, well, that's pretty much it. So that's half a dozen different ways that I typically put things into practice. And you could probably come up with a similar list. It may not be identical, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was some crossover. And it's then a matter of putting that list into practice. And it is practice. The more you do the various things, the better you'll get at them. And or you'll decide that there's something you never want to do again in this lifetime. There's a few things like that that I've done. And, yeah, okay. It works that way. It's okay. None of us are good at everything. For instance, whilst I can stand up in front of a room full of people and give a talk, that's not something I particularly enjoy doing most of the time. There are a few exceptions, but they're not usually business-related. I run a scout group and I'm quite happy to stand up in front of them, but they also have to keep it short because... They'd much rather be doing, putting things into practice and doing things. So, standing up in front of a room, not something that's on my list of preferred things. And again, I can run my business 
quite happily without doing that at the moment. That might change in the future, but at the moment, no. For other people, it's one of their favourite things to do, and their whole business is geared around webinars and seminars. The webinars to get people to the live event seminars. So it's worth taking a bit of time to work out the things that you enjoy that are working for your internet marketing business. And okay, there might also be some things you don't enjoy, but you need to work out whether they're essential for your business. Paying taxes, all that kind of stuff, you don't enjoy it, but you do need to do it, otherwise the government get upset. Or whether there's something that actually won't matter if you don't do them. And actually, that could even be as simple as emails. You could say, well, I'm only going to answer emails once a day, once a week, whatever it happens to be. Voicemails on my phone could be like a friend of mine who, yeah, you can leave the message, but don't expect him to ever listen to it. It, it varies. And that's the beauty of internet marketing. There are so many possible things you can do. And you can often avoid the ones that you don't like or don't get on with or just don't like at the moment. Of course, if there's nothing in your business you like doing, then you need to rethink. But hopefully that's not the case. Otherwise, you'd have got out of internet marketing and chosen a different career. You might have gone off and been a groundsman or a park ranger or something like that. And different people, different things, which is good. Otherwise, would be a really boring species. But once you've got your list of things you need to do to push your business further forward, it's actually time to start doing them. I've talked before on another video about the danger of becoming a perpetual student and it's easy to do when a market's big because there's so much to learn and I'd agree it's worth setting some time aside to learn new things but I'd also suggest it's even more important to set even more time aside to put those things old and new into practice. The Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule, is often quoted for a lot of different areas in life and I think it's another good place to put it into practice. Adjust the figures so they work for you, but a good aim would be roughly every hour you spend learning about internet marketing, spend four hours putting what you've learned into practice. That's the edu 20 principle in a nutshell, and my guess is that if you're like most people I speak to, you're not doing that. Because for a lot of people that ratio has turned around. They spend maybe four hours learning new things, and then, if they're lucky, an hour putting them into practice. And that doesn't work very well, because... You'll often learn more and learn it quicker by actually doing things. Think about it in other areas of life. A, a toddler puts learning to walk into practice 100% of the time. They don't sit down and read a book on how to learn to walk or chat with mum or dad about how they should walk. They just learn by doing. When you learn to ride a bike, it was much the same. You, Again, you probably you might have watched the occasional YouTube video nowadays. I didn't because YouTube wasn't around when I was learning to ride a bike. So I sat on it and it was stabilizers so I didn't have to worry too much about keeping balance and then eventually the stabilizers left but it was almost all until I got to school and we did our cycling proficiency or whatever it was but until then it was just practical. Driving lessons much the same there's a bit of theory but mainly it's practice because apart from maybe an arcade machine that's not the same you've got to be out there on the road Deciding when to turn, when to brake, when to accelerate, when to do all the other things you need to do. So why should internet marketing be any different? And the quick answer is it shouldn't. The only reason I can think of is that we go into school mode rather than practical learning mode. And those those hours of studying books followed by a relatively short period of time writing a report or essay, they've trained us to be always learning rather than putting what we've learned into practice. Okay, some subjects were a little bit different. We had to do sums in maths to prove we got the processes right. But even then, it was just, here's what you do most of the time. Subjects like history or geography were mainly spent with our noses in a book. So you probably need to adjust how you approach your internet marketing to get into more practical mode. Treat it the same as some of the more practical subjects you learned at school or college and in life. And apply the 80-20 rule to the time you spend on your internet marketing. That doesn't mean you need have to time everything down to the last second, but it does mean that you shouldn't be spending most of your time researching the next new thing. You should actually be doing it. Not necessarily a new thing, could be old thing. Old things work most of the time. And if you'd like more practical help with your internet marketing, click the link below this video and join my list. I'll regularly send you lots of relatively short and, well, I think, definitely useful tips to help you get to the next level with your internet marketing. So, go on, click the link now. Join me and then start putting what you learn into practice in your internet marketing business.
thanks for watching.